So here in my browser, I've gone to the m to web page in the talk to m server, and I've entered the details for the account that I was using with my single device on it. So this is my free plus account. Enter a username, password, and connect exactly the same as previously. So there we have the cozy connected to the device, connected to the account, and we've got the ability to log into either the E1 itself, the cozy in this case, or the camera. So we can link exactly the same way as we did previously, log in and view our screen on the web camera. So that information is there within the system. I just wanted to go back and show you something in my eCatcher account as well. So this is logged into the same account as, and this time I'm logged in as administrator. And you can see at the top here, we're showing that for that cozy, we've got two users connected. The administrator is connected at the top here Fred is actually connected via an eCatcher mobile connection. And because I'm administrator, I have the ability here to disconnect Fred from his eCatcher mobile connection. So this is how an administrator can clear out connections which have been left hanging. OK, so that's something else on the uh, linking of, of users in accounts. Let me just show you something else within the M2Web environment. So rather than the free account, I'm going to log in to my pro account. And in the pro account, again, I'm logging in to a group of devices. And here we can see my Flexi and the KPIs that I set up in my Flexi are now visible immediately here on the screen. You'll see that this one has got an indication next to it. This is because it's triggered an alarm. So uh, that particular KPI is in an alarm state and that's indicated here. And if I wanted to, again, access the, the E1 itself or any of the devices behind it, then I can just open up the web page here and access that in the same way as I did previously. So m to web is a very fast way of accessing devices without using um, one of the full VPN tunnels. And it also gives me an immediate view of the KPIs. Another nice feature here is, again, we've got the option of a map view and we can select our devices based on the, the map location. So here we have two devices which are very close to each other. So we can expand those out and see the status there. This device here is my training rig four, which is currently in alarm state. So that's indicated with the red spot on the map. So m to web very easy, very clear to use and uh, the ability to to view a group, a particular pool of devices or all the devices on my account logged in as administrator. I have access to both of those. OK, so let's log out.